and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some pretty exciting leaked content, which you guys may or may not may or may have not seen on Twitter already. Now, guys, there was about four leaked promos now, two of which we expected to come. The other two, one's an older style promo, one's a promo that we usually get, but these other two were not confirmed yet. So it was kind of exciting to see that EA does have this within the game already. And we also have some jerseys to reveal, which they also did leak. Shout out to Mutt Leaks. They always they, they come through. They went dormant for a few months, but they do come through here and there. If you guys know Mutt Leaks, it's pretty much a Twitter page that yeah, I don't know what they do. I don't I don't know. I don't want to sound dumb and try to explain it, but they pretty much get info based on the code of the game and they're able to leak things that are planned for later releases. But enough of that, guys. Super excited. I'm gonna show you guys pack animations. I'm gonna show you guys some jerseys and kind of go over the the. Oh, uh, well, I went over two of them. I'll kind of briefly overview two promos and then go more in depth on the last two because those two you probably haven't heard about yet. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're going below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to bell boy, so more to the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and as always, make sure to comment down below if you guys have anything or any questions regarding these promos. Now, I'm going to go over first and show you guys all the animations, then I'm going to go one by one and show you guys the promos over on Mutthead and everything else and old card stats and stuff. So let me, guys, let me go show you guys the animations first, and then we'll go on over to the the actual cards and the promos this is the easter one it's going to be a little blurry i apologize for that but that's the way mutley's supposed to it gets better towards the end here so this is the easter promo pack animation now yes that is a silver card they were able to like get the pack animation but i guess you know there's no cards actually yet in place for the pack animation to be used on but it looks pretty cool there pretty solid looking kind of looks like yogurt i don't know mine's a go for some reason but let's move on to the next one guys here we got the positional heroes which is one of the promos i was referring to that you guys may not have been expecting positional heroes are super cool i'll go over all that right after this but look at this animation this looks super cool that looks super clean i really do like that animation a lot i think that's one of the better ones this year probably now that was similar to team of the year but it has a very nice like black like metallic scheme I like that a lot, actually. That's a super cool animation. Sadly, we'll probably never pull one, but definitely cool. Next, guys, we have the Blockbuster Tier 2 animation reveal. Yes, Blockbuster promo is apparently coming back, which is super exciting. For any of you guys who have played Madden, Blockbuster is a super cool promo. But I don't think we got one last year, which they kind of suck. Watch this again. You can see the movie tapes on both sides. Blockbuster is a super cool promo. Look right here on both sides. You can see the movie tapes going. Blockbuster is a super cool promo, just if you guys who don't know, it's just like a promo with like crazy cards, like Odell Blockbuster Edition, like a Blockbuster movie, uh, 99 Catch and Traffic, in past it's been like 100 sats, but we don't do that anymore, so 99 Catch and Traffic, 99 Spec Catch, cool card art, maybe like a nice description on the back, always a super cool promo, but guys, I'll just keep playing in the back as I speak, so what we have confirmed is the Easter NFL Draft, this is the tier 1 uh, NFL Draft, so this is not the big pull, but this is one of the smaller ones, the NFL drafts me something like that. Very similar, kind of, to the uh, the other one I just showed you guys, but it is what it is. Now, like I was saying, what I've showed you guys the Easter, the NFL draft, positional here in Blockbuster. So, in this order, it's looking like Easter's going to drop this Friday. That we'll know tomorrow night at the stream. Next, going to be the Path to the Draft promo. Then, we got positional here. It's probably dropped later this month or early next month. And then, we got the Blockbuster promo. Now, the one I'm most excited for out of all those. Probably the Blockbuster one. I haven't been a part of a Blockbuster in a long time because I saw I didn't really play too much Madden at a certain time in the um, I didn't really play too much Madden 18. I didn't I had like a little break off Madden where I played I played enough of it, but I didn't play late. So I never really got to enjoy the Blockbuster promo. And a lot of you guys who quit earlier in the year never get to really enjoy a Blockbuster type promo because it's a later, more towards like May and June-ish, I'm pretty sure. Or it could be late April. But I am super excited for all these promos. Hopefully they end up coming through because I in Madden Patch, you guys have known that they we've seen these leaks and things have been in the game. But we actually didn't end up receiving them, which has always kind of sucked. Now, Blockbuster, probably the latest in that, like I said, the order. Positional Heroes, I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to take you guys over to Mudhead first to show you. Can't forget about the Color Smash jerseys. These are the rumored jerseys for Color Smash. Kind of like a cool, I not tie-dye, but it looks like a very Galaxy-style Apple Mac background kind of jersey. Looks super cool, though, not going to lie. If it didn't cost me coin, uh, it probably didn't cost like 500 up. My bucks will probably be like five bucks if it didn't cost me actual money i'd probably buy it but it's probably going to but these are super cool i probably would wear them myself on my team all right i'm gonna keep the nfl draft short and sweet if you guys follow my channel you've seen this probably five times this week enough is enough nfl draft very simple players that are drafted in real life this year bases on a one through 32 picks for great with the overalls getting increasingly better starting at overall one and then as it comes down they get worse i mean they get better from 32 up that's simple enough, and they're going to post, and they're going to make cards that have been drafted in the past, such as Cam Newton, Miles Garrett, early round, middle round, late round, undrafted master. Very simple. Don't want to spend too much time on this. Pats of the draft probably dropping second, though. 
Next is the Color Smash, which we'll be getting this year. Now, Color Smash, there's no rhyme or reason to these promos. See, Color Smash is going to be random cards. going to be no reason. Like, they picked Melvin Gordon and Watt for no specific reason as to why they picked them. They kind of just pick cards. There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no, like, oh, like, strongest players, heavyweight flashback. It's just, like, a bunch of cards. So, who will get a card? Darius Slay might. I, we we're talking to him. He might get one just because he got it. He just got moved to a new team. Hasn't got a card yet. I don't know if they're doing movers. So, I could see Hopkins and, like, Slay getting one just because they're two cards who need a card. And this would be the perfect promo. That's kind of what the Easter promo is. They just toss players in who haven't gotten an upgrade in a while and just call it that. So, this promo is pretty cool. Not the biggest promo. It's going to be, like, 299s, like, last year, probably. And then a bunch of lower overall cards. But with this year, a bunch of 97s would still be pretty solid. Pretty fire, to be honest, because that would be one of the higher cards. Which is what leads me to believe that this would probably be 98 and these would probably be 96s more than not. Because at this point, with the way Madden is, that'd be kind of a high overalls for us at this point. But what I'm really excited to talk about is positional heroes and going over the blockbusters. Now, positional heroes are always fun. Now, they've changed in the years. If you guys have been playing since Madden 13, position heroes used to be like... A promo where to get the player you have to put in like every card from their position in the game and stuff like that or they like be a special set which used to be kind of fun because like there'd be a 64 overall kicker or like a 64 overall left end for the detroit lions named like analu or whatever and he was going for like 400k because no one had him he like it was just super rare to get him he was like literally a, a bronze 64 overall card and he they, that's back when you used to make money like but you never sold your binder because like when position heroes came out you'd have like a bunch of cards that were put into them and they'd be super expensive now position heroes pretty much they kind of just give you guys the best players in each position now it's not an exact science because obviously like russell wilson probably isn't the best player in this position it's probably mahomes but it's really just circumstantial based on what like who needs a card at the time so like Let's say Michael Thomas got an NFL honor. So they said to do Michael Thomas, they do the next best thing, which would be Julio. He each got a golden ticket. So they do the next best thing, which would be whoever. I can't think of the third best wide receiver right now, but you guys get the point. So whoever just needs a card. So like Nick Chubb was probably running back who deserved a card. So for this year, McCaffrey already has his NFL honors. So maybe they're going ahead and Zeke got his golden ticket. So then maybe they give it to Saquon who got a card already. So you see what I'm saying? Like eventually that's how it ends up at a Chubb. They go through all the cards like, yeah, they all got cards. They all got power of 99. And then eventually they end up at a running back who had a really good year. Like Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, positional hero. That's how you end up there. Really great year. Kind of underrated. Needs a card. Very simplistic. It goes position by position. I believe there's only one per position, although they have done multiple. I have like wide receiver, which has multiple at a time. Cornerback. Yeah, so only positions that typically have multiple guys there on the field at one time are positions where you're going to have more than one, but it's pretty simplistic, very simple. Ryan Ramzik, Tucker, Demarcus Lawrence. Now, these were all 99s because of the time period it was dropped at. I remember this promo pretty well from, I forgot we had it, but I do remember it now looking at it. I remember my favorite card was the Jalen Ramsey, which I cannot seem to find where it right there. That was my favorite card last year. It had pretty much 99 everything, speed, height, press, zone, man, play rec. And they also leave a nice little cool description on the card going over kind of what they got the card for, how good their year was, which is also super cool. I, I'm a fan of positional heroes. There's a lot of players that we could be expecting from this. I'll probably do a player prediction at some point at a later date. Obviously, now it's too soon because I don't think we'll be getting this until at minimum late April at best. I know at minimum at best late April at worst, probably early May. So I think it'll be some time before we get these. I think last year we did get them late April, though, but it could be some time. So we got to wait and see on that on that front. So super excited but out of all these my most excited one of the one i'm most excited for is probably and if right now blockbuster position here is that nfl draft nfl draft is fun because we got a lot of rookies but we don't know what we're going to be getting that yet so honestly actually nfl draft in front of positional here is because we're gonna get a lot of rookies which could be fun to play like a joe burrow and do a bunch of stuff like that that could be super fun but let's go check out blockbuster now and then the final one is the blockbuster promo i believe this is from like madden 18 or even 17 i believe it's 18 though so as you guys can see here these cards are super fun some are blockbuster director quarterback carson wentz some are blockbuster camera operator left tackle they pretty much give everyone a role as if they were in a movie blockbuster crane operator james devlin is the transport manager kind of funny how they end up doing this deandre hopkins is the block he's the actor he's the main actor he's a wide receiver he's the editor halfback picks apart stuff marketing and publicity odell beckham jr now look at these stats right there 99 99 99 99 97 99 and, I, and with the way madden is now with cams i'll all be 99 cam chancellor actually they always give him bad speed though so that, that's expected luke keekley there's some really big names patrick peterson almost all 99 there as well 90 catching back when the catching used to be on the front of a cornerback card it is not anymore i don't know what they what did they what did they take out for that i don't i don't really know Jalen Ramsey, 99s, Anthony Barr, Justin Tucker, 99 Kick Pow, Sam Martin, Adrian Amos. Guys, this promo is super, super cool. And just read it. Jalen Ramsey is the costume designer. Patrick Peterson is the cinematographer. 
Fletcher Cox is the stunt coordinator. There's so many cool things about this promo. Very, very innovative. Very, very, um, it's just very creative. I always, that's why I like about, I like promos that are creative like this. Now let's go up to some other pictures like this right here. Some lower end pieces as well as how to make them. So they, yeah, they use movie tickets, which is kind of like their version of things. So you'd have to get movie tickets to do stuff. Kind of reminds me of superlatives a little bit. If you guys remember the superlative program, don't know if we'll be getting that, but this is kind of it for the last confirmed one, guys. Very, very cool. Very exciting. It's movie tickets, collectible. It's a big promo. So if we do end up getting this, I'll be super fun. It's a summer blockbuster movie ticket item, which is why I think that we may not get this one for a while. And it's always, it's always been known as like a summer program. So this was more like a late May, early June, which is when I kind of predict this one would be coming. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. As always, we're back on the Madden screen, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you need any help or have any concerns or questions about everything else. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.